tone wise Dude, to be honest, I think this is the lowest review I've ever given on a guitar on this channel. Tone, I'd probably give this a s What is up? Welcome to Every Single Guitars, where the goal of this channel is to review every single guitar ever made. If you guys have been keeping up with this channel, I review a large variety of different guitars. But I feel like the brands that I re review the most are usually Fenders, Gibsons, Epiphone, Martins, Taylors, and a couple other brands. So I decided to switch it up a little bit and review an Ibanez acoustic guitar. The exact model is AEG 10 BK 1403. Just a little bit of side rant. I really don't like it when guitar companies, they make their model numbers some really confusing bunch of letters and numbers just jumbled together. Like, you know, if your friend asks you, hey, what model Ibanez do you, guitar do you have? You know, you can't say, oh, I have the Stratocaster. You know, you have to say, oh, I own the AEG 10 BK 1403. If I heard that, I'd be like, what dude? What are you even talking about? I mean, no hate, no disrespect to Ibanez, but I just don't know why some companies name guitars like this. I mean, is this really best name you can make? Sorry, that was just a rant. But an Ibanez acoustic electric guitar. So for those of you guys who don't know much about Ibanez, they're a pretty well-established and well-known Japanese uh, guitar company. From what I know and what I've seen, I'd say 80% of the Ibanez's that I've seen were electric guitar. And usually the Ibanez guitar owners, the genre of music that they focus in, I mean, it's not always the case, but a large portion of the time is rock, metal, heavy metal, you know, stuff like that where it requires a lot of shredding, Floyd Rose style music. So every time I hear Ibanez, that's the genre and style of music that first comes to mind for me. But just because a guitar is geared towards metal doesn't mean that it can only be played for metal. No, any guitar can play any genre. It's just that some guitars sound better with other genres than etc. So even though Ibanez is a, I'd say pretty affordable uh, guitar brand, you know, compared to like a Gibson or a Fender or a Martin or a Taylor, even though they're a somewhat quote unquote affordable brand, a good amount of professional musicians, you know, professional guitarists use Ibanez as their main guitar. One notable example is Steve Vai, the master virtuoso shredder dude. I mean, if you guys seen the movie Crossroads, he was on that movie and he was dueling this kid. I forgot the, the character's name, but it was a hell of a good movie. And I believe he was using an Ibanez in that movie while the other dude was using a telly. I should probably post a link to that video. It's pretty funny. It's a pretty cool video. Another notable Ibanez user is Paul Gilbert. Um, if you haven't heard of him, he's also a virtuoso shredder dude. Um, and I believe he was the teacher to Buckethead, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if that story is true. I think I've read it somewhere, but he, apparently he taught Buckethead, which is pretty crazy because Buckethead is hella good. So right off the bat, I say that this is a very, very light guitar. I'm not sure what wood they use, the specific woods, and I'm not sure if this is solid wood. Just from a guitar standpoint, this is very light. I'd say four pounds, four and a half, five pounds around that range. I mean, it's just a very light guitar in general. But even though the guitar is pretty light, I'd say the overall construction is very well built. I don't know what it is with these quote unquote cheaper acoustics, acoustics below 600. I feel like for all the acoustic guitars that I've reviewed under 600, the neck quality is always the best. It's always the highest. And that's the same case as this. There's a lot of weight on the neck area. So if I put this guitar flat on my lap, the guitar will fall down like this. And like I said, I don't know what they used for the neck, but usually for acoustics that I've played, like a D35, a Martin D35 or a D28, the balance is usually pretty good. You know, it may be a little bit neck heavy, but for all the affordable guitars, I don't know what it is, but 
the neck is usually twice the weight of the body and that is the case for this the body finish and the neck finish behind the neck is kind of like a glossy type finish kind of like a you know a gibson les paul so because of that you know if i'm blindfolded and somebody gave me this guitar and didn't tell me it was an acoustic assuming that i couldn't feel the weight dude i could mistake this neck as a gibson les paul neck or an epiphone les paul neck it's just that glossy style neck profile which I feel like is kind of uncommon for an acoustic guitar. But since the neck is on the somewhat slimmer side, it's actually really easy to grip chords and finger pick and play this kind of like an electric guitar. the concept Ibanez was trying to release with this guitar maybe trying to release a acoustic guitar that feels like a Ibanez electric but still just from a feel standpoint it actually feels pretty good surprisingly it's just something that I'm not personally really used to because my main guitar that I use for my acoustic is a Martin and this is a completely different approach from a Martin in terms of a acoustic guitar building standpoint but still I like it how Ibanez try to do their own thing they didn't really copy different brands you know like a Taylor or a Martin on making this guitar but I feel like the one thing that they did copy in terms of design is the headstock I mean from my opinion this looks very similar to a Gibson slash Epiphone style headstock they didn't copy it you know directly one for one but this kind of does give you the Epiphone look as well as this crownish logo that you know Gibsons are known for for that I think they did try to copy the uh, the Gibson and Epiphone influence but I can't really hate them for that I mean that design that Gibson design is just so classic I mean that design is just so well done it's, it's to the point where it's so hard to not copy that because it's just so good props to Gibson I give Gibson props for that but let's see how this guitar sounds acoustically <laughs> So to be honest, I'd say the tone of this is not really that good, to be completely honest. I mean, for the price point, I believe this is around $300, brand new. But for a $300 guitar, the tone is just... It just sounds really small. It just sounds really thin. Like... If you play individual notes, it's fine, it's, it's okay, it's good. But when it comes to chords and strumming, there's just, it just lacks a certain depth that I look for for an acoustic guitar. I can't say it be it's because of the size because a Martin OM is the same size as this, give or take. But that guitar sounds huge, it sounds big. I think the main reason of the sound, the smallness of the sound is probably the wood that they used. Like I said, I don't know what wood they used for this because they painted it black, so I can't really tell, but... 
it's just a pretty small sounding guitar. But like I said, this has a electric pickup system installed. So maybe this is for acoustic amp plug-in. You know, maybe that's the recommended way of playing, but I don't play acoustic guitars with an amp. You know, I just play it naturally and just playing it naturally, it's just not. Like it sounds good, but it's not the depth that I want for an acoustic. Maybe I'm just spoiled because I've been playing so many Martins and Thalers, but you know, I play guitars much cheaper than this and it sounded better. So if I had to give a rating for this, the build quality is good. I'd say the build quality is by far the best part of this guitar. The build, I'd probably give this a 7.5. The neck quality is very good. The fretboard quality is very good. The bridge is pretty good too, but the body, and you know the plastic of the electronics is just where it lacks in my opinion tone wise dude to be honest i think this is the lowest review i've ever given on a guitar on this channel tone i probably give this a 6.5 a d plus and keep in mind when i do my ratings i always keep the price in check as well so an 8 out of 10 for a three thousand dollar guitar is not the same as an 8 out of 10 for a $500 guitar. For a $300 guitar around that price range, you could get it a much better deal, a much better find than this. You can get a used Martin X series for 300. It will sound five times better than this. You know, as a backup guitar, a beater guitar, I'd say it's fine, it's good. But if you're a quote unquote serious player, I mean, who, who really, what is a serious player, you know? But if you're really looking for a quality acoustic guitar and you're on a budget of you know, less than 500, I'd say to look at something else because, you know, overall, you know, this is just not my style of acoustic guitar. That's the best way to put it. But it is what it is. The goal of this channel is to review every single guitar and every single guitar I play can't be good, right? 